Recording. Okay, I want to give this a try again. I'm having some serious doubts and issues with the Cena 50C. I'm not so sure that I should even continue to use this product because it has become so difficult to use. And when I say use, I'm referring to the ability to upload to my phone and or post with it. It seems like to me that every time I try, oh, there it goes again. It just, the phone app shut off, so I don't know if I'm actually recording or not. Uh, as you can see right here, it completely went away from showing the video footage while writing guarantee me that the system is working. I had done this to me the other day and I continued to ride regardless, but I didn't think it was recording. So today, while I'm out riding my Honda XR650L, I'm going to continue to talk as though it's working and hopefully I can get some pretty decent footage of me riding and whatnot. So I hope this still continues to work as I enjoy this beautiful Missouri day here at Lake of the Ozarks. If any of you folks out there that use this Cena 50C, and when I say Cena 50C, I'm talking about the Harley Davidson version uh, that I purchased from a Harley dealership. I've heard some pros and cons either way about the 50C in general, that it's not really a good unit. But yet, I've seen others say they have really good luck with it. I don't think the updating is a very successful thing. I think Cena has made it a little more difficult than it really needs to be. So, I wish it was easier. I downloaded the Cena utility app on my computer. And you, you know, you've got to make a decision whether you want 32-bit, 64-bit, depending on your computer. So, I'm not a real computer expert, but... I do know that this particular unit that I'm using is a 64-bit computer, so I downloaded that one. <laughs> Once I downloaded it and tried to update the software on my 50C, it just kept rejecting it. It wouldn't do the update. So I watched a couple more videos. My system just isn't allowing me to progress as far as those guys do. I, I don't get it. And having said that, to me, I just think that this stinking thing is not user-friendly, and that, to me, renders it the biggest pile of crap there ever was purchased. I really like the idea of the 50C on the helmet recording. I love it because, to me, it's simpler than... A GoPro. Uh, and I, I enjoy it. I do. When it's working, it, it works good. I just don't understand the aggravation that you have to go through. Now, I know there's growing pains, and I'm learning. I'm an older guy. You know, we're not the best uh, temperament when things go right or wrong. Uh, but when I, when I experience this, it's like, there's nobody out there really to help you. Can't call customer support whenever I'm doing these things. I don't have anybody or know anybody locally that rides dual sport motorcycles or just on the road bikes, whatever, regardless. It's close to me. That's well to say, hey, John, you know, I understand your problem. I've been there. I've done it. 
And I would like to help you because I do understand it. I'm sure my children would help me. Uh, they're very intelligent when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Uh, but heck, man, they're like way away, you know? That's 140 miles to go to their house. I don't live up there. I live down here. I want to make videos down here. I want to I want to share with you guys what I see out here every day. You know? I enjoy the lake life. I guess I needed to shut my turn signal off. I forgot it. That's one thing I don't like about what I would refer to as jet bikes. Man, when I get on my Harley and I hit the turn signal, I can make my turn and go from first gear up to second gear and it automatically cancels out that turn signal. I get on any of my Hondas or, or other bikes that I ride, it don't do that cancel out process. And man, that just bites. You look down, you got this blinker light flash now, you're going, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, that may not be really true, but when, when you're following behind somebody that signals on, you're not communicating to them properly. <laughs> what you're really telling them is you're going to turn, but you have no idea when. But if you got an officer of law behind you, yeah, you're just giving them the reason to want to stop you. Walk up to you and, hey, dumbass, uh, you know, what's your problem? Oh, uh, what, you don't know how to shut your signal off? Uh, no, I'm paying attention to the road. I'm not paying attention to the stupid signals. I'm not paying attention to the stupid speedometer. I mean, if I get out here and speed limit's 45 like we are now, I'm running 45 right now. But I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm going down the road and, and traffic's running 60 in that 45, I'm going to run 60 right along with them. You know? I experienced that in Florida. That's a pretty good policy. I mean, down there, you can be on I-75, and speed limit, of course, is 70. You get down there, and you can set your cruise control at 90, 95, and 100, and traffic will pass you, cops will pass you, I mean, nobody bothers you. It's like, you're going to get run over if you don't do it. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So I'm on Highway W, and I'm headed towards Lake Ozark. And I thought about, you know, just venturing out, hitting some gravel roads, see where they go. Roads I ain't been down. Try them out. And hopefully today, if my wife calls me, then I can talk to her on my headset on this Cena. And hopefully it answers. The other day, it didn't answer. She thought I was having problems and uh, the whole world come and broke out, you know, into a bad thing. Oh, yeah, where you at, husband? Oh, my Lord, is he hurt? And, oh, she got worried. And I, I do appreciate her love and and her caring heart, concern in case something happens. You know, if more men had women like that in their life, they'd be better off. 